hold on, it's a marathon Run fast, run fast, like the rivers run God damn, never seen in the restaurant I took a minute to the penny drop You know, my tears don't fall too often But your knife is cutting me deep, 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 deep yeah. Baby, I'm not made of stone It hurts Hey guys, today's look is a very bold look. I have a blue cut crease with a white liner and I didn't stop there. I used a green and blue and like mustardy brown and I really smoked out the lower lash line to give it more depth and more color and I really like how it turned out. Um, I hope you guys like it too and if you guys want to see how to get this look and how to recreate it, please keep watching. So I'm thinking about doing a blue cut crease today, um, but I'm not sure what colors to use. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'm just going to go in and we'll see how this turns out. So I'm going to use my Morphe R37 brush and I'm just going to pick up a transition color. For my transition color, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take this orange and I'm going to put that in my upper crease. I'm going to do that ever so lightly because I don't want those colors to really be prominent or show up very much. I kind of just want them just as a transition, but like where you can barely see it because I want the focus to be blue. Okay, so now I have my transition down and now I'm going to go in with my blues. So I'm going to start to attempt to cut the crease. I'm going to go back in with concealer and clean it up. But I'm just going to try and get like a rough sketch of the deepest part. So I'm going to take this very small precision precision brush this blue right here in the sephora palette and this one's very dark but i want to where the cut crease starts i want that to be the deepest blue so i'm gonna go and i'm going to start on the edge and just in my upper crease i'm just right underneath where that transition color was i'm just going to start to cut it Now I got the deepest color where I want it to be. I'm obviously going to go ahead and clean up the bottom later. But I'm just going to go back in with that Morphe R37 and I'm just going to blend that shade up a little bit. Now with a MAC 217, this one's more tapered and will get more into precise areas. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pick up this more bright but still Tone down blue. I'm picking that up on the very tip of the brush and I'm just going to tap off the excess. Going back in with the MAC 217, I think I'm going to use this Makeup Geek shadow in Nautica and I'm going to pick up a little bit of that and I'm going to put that on the outer portion of the cut crease. I'm going to take this blue shade from the Gwen Stefani and Urban Decay palette. And I'm going to take a little bit of that blue on the tip of this brush and I'm just going to sketch out my crease again like I did with the darker blue. This cut crease is terrible, I apologize. This is my only second time doing a cut crease. The first time was at my grad, like my prom. Um, I did a cut crease and this is the second time ever and I, that time was with brown shadow, this time is with a very bold color, so apologize if it's everywhere. So now I'm gonna go in with this Mark, I don't even know what brush this is, my friend gave it to me, this Mark Concealer Brush. And I'm just gonna go ahead and take my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in 10 Light and I'm just gonna cut out that crease. Okay, so I went in ahead and I did that to both of the eyes with the concealer. And this side turned out a lot better than this side. This side I was struggling, but that's okay. And I went and I set the concealer with this vanilla shade in the 
Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette. Um, so now I'm going to go ahead and this is the part where it's like bold and dramatic, makes it look even more. So I'm going to go in with white liquid liner. So I'm really bad at doing a liquid liner, so we shall see how this goes. And this is the first time using this L'Oreal white liner. Um, it's the Infallible Paints Liquid Eyeliner um, in White Party 310. So I'm going to start off by drawing the wing. And if I go over camera for this, I apologize. I just have to get really close to the mirror. So this L'Oreal liner was a big flop. It would not do anything. Like, it wouldn't make a line, it wouldn't make a wing, it wouldn't do anything. So I had to try and improvise because I already had a little bit of white on my eye. So I used my NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk. And I used this tiny precision liner brush. And I attempted to make the wing and make the liner. It was a little, it was it was difficult, I'm not gonna lie, because this one's more creamy and it's not like a liquid liner, so it's not gonna dry down like the liquid liner would, so it's a little bit patchy, but you know what, we're just gonna make it work. Can't do anything about it. So that's why my liner may look weird and junky, but whatever, okay. So now we're going to go ahead and we're going to do lashes. So I'm just going to take some Smashbox Full Exposure Mascara and I'm just going to coat my lashes really lightly. And then I'm going to put on some Ardell Natural Lashes. Now that I'm done the top part of the eyes, I'm going to move on to foundation. So I'm going to take my Angel Veil primer by NYX and I'm just going to shake that and I'm going to put that all over the outer portion of my face. So now that I've done using that primer I'm going to go ahead and use my Benefit Pore Professionals primer and I'm just going to put that on the nose and around the nose area just to fill in my pores. For foundation, I'm going to use the Josie Marin Vibrancy Foundation, and I'm just going to take about two pumps on the back of my hand, and I'm going to use this Morphe M439 and try and buff it in. I haven't used a brush to do my foundation in so long. I don't remember the last time I did. I usually just use my Real Technique sponge, but I'm going to try using the brush today to see how this foundation works with the brush. So, so far it's a little streaky, but that's just the brush. Um, I find the brush is good, but sometimes if I don't buff it in enough, it does leave streaks. But if I buff it in, like really precisely, then the streaks go away. Have you guys seen the movie Arrival with Amy Adams? I watched that about two weeks ago, I want to say. And... I just heard some weird noise in my apartment building and it sounded like those aliens, that weird creaky noise they make to communicate. Um, I'm going to go in with my beauty sponge and I'm just going to buff that out a bit. I noticed though when I use this brush that I'm not as using as much product because the first time I ever used this foundation I had to use four pumps when I was just using my Real Technique sponge. Now I'm going to put on concealer and I'm going to mix the NYX HD concealer in CW01 and Maybelline Fit Me in 15 Fair. Wow. This foundation and these concealers mixed? Oh my gosh, my skin looks so good right now. Like right here. Can you guys tell? Right here. It looks good. Okay, to set the under eyes in the T-zone area, I'm going to use Maybelline Fit Me powder in 110 like usual. I would use loose powder, but I honestly just find that this is so much prettier for the under eyes, and it looks so much more natural, and it looks super youthful with it. It just really complements the under eyes, this powder, especially if you have dry skin. Like, I have oily skin, and I love it, but if you have dry skin, and you find that setting your under eyes is really difficult, you should try this powder. 
because it's actually perfection. I've tried a lot of powders in my day too. A lot. So I'm going to pick up, like I did in my last video, the subconscious shade in the Shade and Light palette. And I'm thinking I'm going to mix a little bit of this one. And I'm going to pick up this Sigma FO5 small contour brush. And I'm just going to pick up a little bit of both those powders. And I'm just going to literally not even like contouring. I'm just making sure I get that contour shade where I want it to be. And I'm not using too much, I'm just using a little bit. Okay, now I'm going to blend out that contour and bronze the face with Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer and this Real Technique blush brush. And I'm just going to go over those areas. I'm going to go ahead and take Laura Geller Gilded Honey because I want a gold highlight. And I'm going to take the fan brush by Morphe, the R12, and I'm just going to hit the high points of my face with this shade. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and do my under eye. And I decided I'm going to go ahead and do what I originally had planned, which is like a greeny blue hue under there but not too much not like too forceful so i'm gonna pick up um, on this morphe m432 brush i'm gonna pick up that deep blue that we put initially first to cut the crease i'm gonna put that very dark blue just underneath really close to the lash line only about like a third in okay now that I have that down I'm going to go in with my icing precision brush again and I'm just going to pick up a little bit of the blue we blended on top of that which is the one directly beside it in the palette and I'm just going to do like blend that over top now I'm going to go back in with that Morphe M432 brush and I'm going to pick up Makeup Geek Typhoon for my green MV makeup look and I'm going to put that underneath the eyes too because I want a little bit of green tint under there. I'm going to pick up my BH Cosmetics Fat Pencil Brush and I'm going to take Desert Sands by Makeup Geek and I'm going to blend that all over every single shadow on my lower lash line. Okay and now we are done with the eyes guys. So we have a blue cut crease with a white liner and then we have like a green smoked out lower lash line. So now I'm going to show you guys two lip looks. The first one is going to be a nude, so it's like a more wearable look, even though you probably not, aren't going to wear this out in town. Um, and then the next is like a seriously bold blue. The first nude shade I'm going to take is the Maybelline Beige Babe from their Intimates collection. And I'm just going to put that all over my lips as the nude shade. Now I'm going to top off that shade with Buxom White Russian Lip Gloss. So now I'm going to go into the bold lip, which is the blue, and that's really going to take this look to a next level. That's why I put two lip colors in this one, because I don't even know how this blue is going to turn out, but we're going to see how it goes. So I'm taking the NYX Liquid Suede Cream Lipstick in shade Jet Set. Ooh, I'm nervous. So this is what the look looks like with a bold blue lip, and it's kind of jaggedy and everywhere. It's really hard to do. Um, but I really love this look. It's like a punch to the face. It's very bold, very out there, but you know what? It's my channel. I can do videos that I want to do that make me happy. Um, I'm sick of seeing the same videos all the time on YouTube, so I just decided to do something different. Something I've never seen before, just something out there and something like 
not necessarily me because I wouldn't wear this on a daily basis, but something that like shows my personality, show my creative side. So that's it for the video, guys. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys recreate this look, please take me on Instagram at lindsayconnors underscore. Uh, I'd really appreciate it if you guys saw that. And please like and subscribe if you haven't already. I'd really appreciate that. Um, this was off the top of my head, and I really like how it turned out. So see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.